Daimler, the parent company of Mercedes-Benz, had delivered its very first heavy-duty all-electric truck to Penske Truck Leasing Company, and uh, it's 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 a big deal uh, for a few reasons. Of course, we're going to talk about that versus what's happening with the Tesla in its semi truck. Um, there's there's definitely always all the roads always lead to, uh, to the comparison to Tesla. We're going to talk about it coming up next. Take it over the world. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward. Uh, yes, I don't have my voice back yet, but uh, that's fine. I think I'm kind of getting used to it. All right, so um, as you know, Daimler, the parent company of Mercedes, um, they you know they basically coming out with their own all electric. Uh, the heavy duty trucks. Um, they are the sellers of uh, most of these in the world. So they're taking this whole Tesla semi truck um, unveiling very seriously. Now, yes, they made some comments. Their executive made some silly, I would say, comments doubting Tesla for some reason. I wouldn't do that. I can doubt their timelines, but I would not doubt their ability to deliver the technology. So th I thought that was silly, but at the same time, what they're trying to do, from what I can see, is to start delivering uh, uh, something to their clients and at least making sure that their press releases and pictures of these trucks um, and they're actually you know out there performing you know uh, the actual job that they're supposed to perform out there in the real world and at the same time testing them right being first to market is important because they're establishing the relationships with uh, or re-establishing the relationships with their electric uh, truck fleet you know Penske obviously is one of their clients now, l l let me put it in perspective um in the entire 2019 they are only going to deliver about 20 uh, of um all electric uh, trucks. By the way, this is a uh, actually uh, a um, what do you call it? Medium duty. Uh, it's called uh, Freightliner EM2 truck. They ha the, the 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 heaviest duty truck, I guess, is the right word. <laughs> Probably not. Um, uh, which is E Cascadia is going to be delivered next year. But total, they're going to deliver only 20 of them to these guys. And you know. Penske Truck Leasing Company operates over a quarter of a million of trucks altogether. So this is definitely kind of a test batch, um, and which is good for them, right? I mean, obviously, having trucks um, as part of the customer fleet in real world is very important. Tesla is doing something very similar, right? They're kind of, uh, you know, uh, taking the uh, their semi-truck uh, on tour and letting, you know, some of their customers drive it and give them some feedback. But nothing more valuable in actually delivering the truck. You know, unfortunately, by the way, there's only the only press release picture they've released. I wish there was a video because it's an actual truck. Uh, maybe we'll have more uh, later. I'm hoping to maybe even uh, see if I can uh, uh, check out this truck in person at some point. Um, but why is this important? Um, let me tell you and how it also, um, you know, interjects with uh, with Tesla semi truck. Uh, plans before that i want to remind you that this show and this channel is sponsored by x -Rack. Um, this is basically a cargo solution for teslas and other electric car vehicles as you know perfect for a model x because you really can't put any cargo on top of that because of the falcon wings uh, made out of a uh, light uh, material aluminum material so it doesn't really decrease your range and there is a discount code in the description of this video one of the largest discounts they've um, uh, ever offered to their clients plus Free shipping so it's kind of perfect for your holiday season um, and for those of you who just don't want to put any cargo on top of your car this is pretty much a, a a vehicle hitch solution for that so thank you for sponsoring this all right let's talk about this tesla semi truck now obviously the technology that goes into it is amazing up to 500 or more mile range with a full load that is actually obviously if they can deliver it uh, 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 pretty much a standard, as uh, uh, well standard. I shouldn't. This is this is um, the, the the set goal, uh, sort of a measuring stick for the rest of the industry. Uh, and this is what uh, a Daimler is trying to achieve. Now, let me give you some specs, by the way, about the Daimler truck. Now, this truck can go up to 230 miles. Now, this is a last mile delivery truck, as they call it, right? So this is where it goes from the distribution center to the actual stores or, or customers. So there's a lot of standing around or sitting around for this for this truck. 
Uh, hopefully there are charging solutions for that. That's where the uh, truck can be recharged. By the way, 80% of this truck's battery, uh, which is 325 kilowatt hour battery, that's pretty pretty huge battery, um, can be recharged in just one hour, which actually is a good thing because you know that's you know the, the the stops are frequent, but also it does take about 15, 20, 30 minutes to unload these trucks. Um, not maybe fully, but still. Um, so if there are charging solutions at those locations, that's kind of perfect. Um, and um, the the up to 230 miles i'm assuming that's the biggest range at the perfect condition with the perfect driving with no cargo now with cargo it's a whole different story i'm going to assume it's somewhere between 120 and 150 miles which is still decent you know don't forget that the the driving is usually in a city right um and also frequent stops and that they take you know some time so i think even 150 mile range um, and, and, you know, obviously as the truck is driving, there's less and less and less cargo as it gets unloaded. I actually think that's pretty acceptable, but hey, this is a great test for Daimler. Um, and obviously Tesla, I'm sure is watching and many other companies that are watching, that are trying to get into this. What I'm saying is this is good news. You know, this means that Daimler, uh, you know, which is the leader for, you know, uh, commercial trucks, uh, is taking this seriously and and therefore the entire industry is moving forward again obviously tesla is pushing everybody forward but this is a good thing because now now we're we're moving from the passenger cars right for regular common folk like you and me to really corporate business to business sales and hopefully it will also lead to trains and ships and and planes and so forth so the revolution is expanding and i'm really excited about that because it is important and the fact that they delivered it on time right the gimmicks are important delivering stuff on time is important even if it's just one or 10 or 20 so kudos to daimler for uh getting that done let me know in the comment section what do you guys think other than that see you guys next time and remember to stay charged.